Hello everybody, so welcome or welcome back to another video. As you can tell, for today I've decided to do a um, what's on my MacBook Air video. So if you do enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So I just want to start by talking about my background that you can see here. So this is just something I got off Google. I just thought it looked really cool. Um, I believe this is down south. Yeah, down south somewhere in like Cornwall Devil. I think it's down south. Don't get me like, just correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not very good at geography. But anyway, we're just gonna start over here where the um, folders are. So as you can see here, I just have a folder called Chloe's stuff, which just basically has all my, um, what do you call it? Like YouTube stuff or like just personal things in there. So I'm not gonna open that. And then this is my university folder. So if I just click this open. So in my university folder, I just have the different, um, modules that I've been taking this year, so I have genre, creative reading and writing, language and creativity, Shakespeare, American literature and 20th century literature. And then down here I just have a few bits that I haven't actually put away yet, so these three in this row here are just something for, um, what's it done? Okay, it's just something that I did for my Shakespeare presentation and then again with the cartoon ghosts. And then this essay beginnings and endings was just something to kind of help me with some of my essay writing because I felt like my um, paragraph sentences were the same all the time so I just wanted some new stuff. Workplace readiness and employment skills um, assessment thing was just something for university that we were doing for this employability plus award then what is horror that was just the script for my um, genre what do you call it uh, genre presentation and then if I just open one of these just to show you how I lay this out so this is my 20th century one and this has all my first term and then as you can see here second term work as well I need to make a first one for this one I just haven't had time to do it and then that has my assignment receipts in it as well um, one that does have it so it is this one so as you can see I just have the module guide and um, the assignment receipt term one term two I just I do need to put this away and then the receipt for that assignment so that's everything in my university folder and then I just have my CV and my cover letter here wish list is basically just screenshots of stuff that I see that I could put down for Christmas ideas for myself or for other people and then this um, background is what I use for all my videos or like um, thumbnails it's just easy access if I keep it there and then I have video which basically I put in with all my um, editing stuff so say for this video I've already filmed the intro so the intro will go into that folder then we move on to the bottom bar down here which is very different to what you'd experience in a um, Windows computer because they are obviously like this and it's just a definitely different layout so it starts with finder which basically opens everything um, in your recents so you can click on that then I have Siri I don't really use Siri at all um, it's just something that came with the computer then I have launchpad which has all my apps I will go through that with you shortly then I have Safari which is the main internet source that I use so if I open up Safari um, it takes a little while to open because they have to bounce and it's really irritating so then I just have these few different um, favorites and these are just basically my recent websites um, so I have Apple there which is basically the Apple store then I have the Disney store because I just like looking on the Disney store um, Google this is my medical center I will blur that out because it, it has the name on it Nelson which is um, now so much is the reading area I don't know what is it basically an online website for online library for our sources Papercut which is our printing system at university Nile which is Northampton interactive learning environment and then the Northampton University homepage so if we just close that down and then I'm just gonna quickly close Safari then I have mail which has all my university emails on I do have another email address as I've said before that I use for um, personal stuff so like shopping and stuff like that 
Then I have calendar. I don't really use this, but it is backed up from my phone. So everything that I have on here is um, exactly what's on my phone. You close that down again. Then I have notes, which is exactly the same as my phone, as I mentioned yesterday. So that has all like gift ideas and stuff like that in it. So again, I'm not gonna open that up. Then I have my text messages, which is very, very helpful when um, I'm at uni and someone needs to get to me desperately, then I have my messages on here. Then I have FaceTime. I do prefer to FaceTime people off my laptop over my phone, but um, now that I've got my iPad, I do a lot of the time FaceTime on my iPad. But if I'm doing something, say if I'm doing work and I'm FaceTiming Lucy or something, then I will FaceTime from my computer rather than my iPad. Then I have iTunes. Um, I don't really use iTunes, I, it's kind of like I use iTunes to make stuff for YouTube, this is like loads of the songs that I used to have before I got Spotify and then just stuff that I have for YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and then I have Spotify, Spotify is the main account that I use for music and it's exactly the same as the one on my phone and my iPad, so if you've seen them two videos then pretty much yeah then I have word pinned to the bottom here because word is something that I use all the time being a student like if you like for word for essays and stuff like that like most people do use word but a lot of people use google docs but I personally don't like google docs then I have iMovie I use iMovie to edit videos like this um only because I find it a lot easier to edit with iMovie um for screen recordings apart from the one that you saw last time so my iPhone video only because I wanted to put the pink background in the back and it's quite hard to do that on iMovie um, and then I have Google Chrome I don't really use Google Chrome um, but turn it in which is the people that deal with our um, what do you call it assignment uploads doesn't work on Safari which is really annoying so I have to use Google Chrome to do that and then QuickTime Player is just open because I am currently screen recording then here is my downloads as you can see I have my thumbs up button here um, I'm not going to open this because it just has loads of uni stuff in and stuff like that and that I've downloaded off the university website then I have my trash can again not going to open this because there's weird stuff on it not weird stuff but does that make sense yeah anyway and then I completely forgot to mention while we're over here I have this quote which I find really cute that I just keep there and it's the road to success is always under construction and I love this saying so it's always nice just to have there um, I was going to put it as my screensaver slash background but then I decided it was just nice that if I felt like a day when I felt a bit crap I could just open that up and it would be there okay and then if we go into my launch pad I can now show you guys what is on here so again, Safari and Mail on here um, because that's just what's on the computer anyway. Then I have contacts. Again, don't really use this unless there's someone on the messaging list that um, I haven't texted before and I need to text from my computer. Calendar, again, don't really use. Reminders, we spoke about this on my old phone, don't really use this. Um, the only reason I would use reminders on my laptop is because um, if I've forgotten my folder or something that day and then folder. Um, what's it called diary diary that day then i could quickly jot into my reminders and then change it over later notes again will appear because it is installed on the laptop maps i don't use on my laptop at all i don't even know why i have it on here like i think it's just because it comes with it and the whole idea of trying to delete it is just stressful um <laughs> so maps and then again we have messages facetime then we have photo booth i'm not going to open photo booth because i look gross um because i'm not feeling well at all so i was just like Film this video if you guys do still get a video up, which makes me happy. Um, but photo booth, which basically has um, all these different effects and stuff on. You can take photos with your friends. Then I have photos, which is basically the photos from your phone. If you back it up, then you've got all your photos on your phone. Then iMovie, garage band. I don't really use unless I'm in iMovie because that has like music and sound effects on. Then iTunes, and then we have iBooks, which I sometimes use if I'm writing an essay and. Say I'm sat downstairs, comfortable on the sofa, then I can't bother to go upstairs and get my iPad to find the book, so it's just quite nice having that on here. App Store, obviously, you use to download everything that you need for app-wise. Then Pages, I haven't used Pages, so I don't know what it's about. I haven't used Numbers, haven't used Keynote, so I don't know what any of those are about. Preview is basically where you open up your photos and it shows you everything. Dictionary, I have used this once, but I do prefer an online dictionary, to be fair. 
Then I have calculator. I don't really use calculator on the laptop unless it's something emerg emer unless it's something that's emergent. That's not a word. Unless it's an emergency, like at uni, and I need to quickly do it, and I can't get to my phone. Anyway, then we have this folder called other. So in here basically all the stuff that I literally have no idea never used any of this obviously apart from QuickTime player and I have used sticky notes for when I have assignments and that coming up but apart from that there's just all these random things I have no idea what they are um, maybe one day I'll finally figure out what they are you may be able to explain down in the comments what some of these are but yeah so let's exit others then I have Siri um, again, don't really use Siri. Mission control, I don't know what this is. I'm not going to open it because um, I don't know what it is. Again, dashboard, never used. System is obviously where you set everything up um, and it's got all your personal things. And oh my god, it's starting to rain. Hopefully, you can still hear me if it chucks it down with rain, so I do apologise. Microsoft OneNote and then all the other Microsoft um, apps. Uh, my mum brought this to me when I started university so that we had it and it was easy to get to. AVG cleaner which is my um, it's linked with the antivirusing that you can see over here that makes sure that my laptops free of viruses and stuff like that then I have Spotify which we've already spoke about oh gosh then moving on I have HP smart which is my um, printer so that's just an app that you go on to print off stuff this installed Mac OS Mojave has just appeared out of nowhere no idea what it is it's just sitting there then I have Google Chrome, we've already spoken about Google Chrome. Google Chrome. Then we have M M Movavi, Movavi Video Editor Plus, which is basically my um, go-to editor at the moment. Like This is what I edit most of my videos with, um, if it isn't something like this. Then I have Grammarly, I'm really bad at, gram at grammar and I don't know why I'm, I am saying this because I'm an English student but sometimes I have to have my work checked so I just have Grammarly. Then I have Brave Browser, I don't know what this is, it just appeared one day on my computer so I don't know. Um, then again I have Kindle because before I started using iBooks I would use the Kindle app on here and say if I'd forgotten the book and we were sat in the lecture I could quickly type it into Kindle and buy it. Then I have this thing called Focus To Do which basically sets a timer um, on your laptop when you're working so that if you have a certain amount of time you want to work for then um, it blocks everything and it's really cool I love it so much so that's basically everything on my laptop there isn't much here um, obviously there is more in my files but I don't really want to go into too much depth because it's quite personal but I thought if I showed you guys like the outline of my computer and what I keep on it then it might help anyone that's looking to get a MacBook um, I do definitely recommend getting a MacBook rather than a um, HP laptop or something like that only because they seem to last a lot longer and Windows seems to be having a lot of problems at the moment um, and if you're an Apple person, so if you have an iPhone or an iPad, having a MacBook as well is very helpful because everything's backed up so you always have access to something so if you forget one item of technology you always have another which is really helpful and I do love Apple for that. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's not the video I was talking about on Tuesday that I was going to upload. Hopefully that will be up on Tuesday. Um, I will hopefully be feeling a lot better than to actually sit in front of a camera. Um, I feel like crap right now and it's took everything in me to actually get up and film this video. Um, so hopefully the video I was talking about on Tuesday's video will be up next Tuesday. But yeah, so I hope you guys in did enjoy this and let me know in the comments down below if um, there's anything else you want me to do related to technology because um, I am running out of video ideas. No, I'm not really. It's just I want to make videos that you guys want to see. So yeah, so I shall see you on Tuesday for a new one. Bye.